If you guys have not heard the news, Robert Spillane has apparently broken his hand for the Las Vegas Raiders, and we're going to talk about it today. Uh, the news actually came out yesterday. We weren't able to get to it because of the Bo Hardigree video we ended up doing yesterday. I really wanted to put some emphasis on his play calling as well as how the quarterback kind of responded to it. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. I posted it yesterday. Let's talk about Robert Spillane, man. If you guys have not heard the news, uh, the guy apparently broke his hand against the Detroit Lions. He apparently had surgery before the Giants game, and then he ended up playing in the Giants game shortly after having surgery. That's crazy, considering the fact that the Raiders played on Monday Night Football and played against the Giants. You know, at, it's just it's ridiculous. Now, shout out to Robert Splane, man. That, you you got to be tough as hell to be able to go through that and still play on the other side of it. But I do want to talk a little bit about the Raiders linebackers, because I think we are at this point where they have not looked good this year. Right. And you can say part of it is because of the injuries. Right. Luke Masterson's hurt. Divine Diablo's hurt. Robert Splane has a broken hand. And maybe the two guys that are hurt with Robert Splane's hand, maybe that's why we're struggling. Uh, because what I watched not only against the Giants, but even the prior weeks prior to that, the Raiders defense against run has not been good. And I know it may not matter a whole lot against uh, some of these teams that we played in the past, especially the ones that don't really have quarterbacks or a good offensive line to potentially put up points. But as we move forward, that's not what we're about to play as we kind of go forward. You know, the Jets' offensive line's pretty good. Their running back in Brees Hall is pretty good. But it gets it gets worse and worse for the Raiders as you move forward. The Miami Dolphins have one of the best ground games in the NFL. Uh, they also are going to get Divine HN back, who's been out for about four to five weeks at this point. And the guy's still a top 10 rusher. He's played like three games. The guys already went for 200 yards in another game in which he went for like 150 plus yards. We're going to play one of the best ground games in the NFL coming up. Even after that, we play the Chiefs, who have one of the best offensive lines. So to me, I think it's going to be pivotal that the Raiders figure out the run defense. Because I would make the argument against the pass, we're one of the best defenses in the NFL. right? From a pass, uh, pass rush perspective, limiting big plays and being a solid secondary, we are one of the best play, uh, teams in the NFL. In fact, statistically, we rank as the number one team uh, against allowing big plays on the secondary. So shout out to the secondary for that. But let's talk about these linebackers a little bit. Uh, I think Robert Splane has been a very, very good linebacker. And I think even Divine Diablo has showed a little bit of upside. But at the moment, the Raiders don't really have that number two to go with Splane. Uh, and we're obviously making the assumption that Splane, Splane will continue to play the rest of the season. And I know the Raiders last week brought in Jalen Smith, but the guy was terrible. And I talked about this before on Twitter. I talked about this before in my videos. The thing with Jalen Smith is he's just a little too slow. And he's also at the point now where, you know, because he's not that fast, he's trying to get around blocks. He's trying to do things a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. And that then that leads to him struggling to get off blocks. You know, a play that really stood out to me was a play in which, uh, Jalen Smith did a great job recognizing the play. He stepped up into the gap, and Saquon Barkley just made this guy miss, uh, made this, you know, he quickly stopped, hit the outside, and Jalen Smith was not able to make the tackle, and Saquon Barkley on that one picked up nine yards. Then there's other plays where Jalen Smith really, really, really struggles to get off the block. Uh, a guard goes, gets right into him. He's not able to get around the block. He gets pushed backwards. And to me, we can't have this from the linebacker position. You know, linebackers in the NFL are expected to hit a guard and stop that guard in his tracks. That's what linebackers are expected to do in, in today's NFL. Uh, they're expected to make plays on the outside and those type of things. And with Jalen Smith, I don't have the confidence that this guy's going to be able to do it, especially when, you know, Tyree Kill catches a six yard pass and it's up to Jalen Smith to make that play. Or if not, Tyree Kill takes it the distance. Uh, and I'm just using that as an example. You know, to me, I'm not sold on Jalen Smith. And at this point, I know he's smart and I get that. But I just don't have the trust that we have the linebackers right now to have success for the Raiders. Uh, Mari Bernie's also played a lot over the past two weeks. Uh, he hasn't looked all that good either, in my opinion. I haven't really seen him make any play that really stood out. You know, he's made a couple tackles here or there, uh, but nothing that's like game changing. Right. And nothing where it's like he stops the play for a loss of one yard or the play only picks up a yard. He hasn't done a whole lot. Right. Nothing that's really flashed for me. And I feel like the Las Vegas Raiders need to consider how they move forward with the linebackers. Uh, there's three linebackers available via free agency that have been with the Raiders over the past couple of seasons. 
Uh, Jayon Brown was a guy that I think he was here last year. Mike Kaiser was here, I believe, last year. It may have been the year before. Uh, Nick Kwiatkowski has been here in the past. And, you know, these three guys may not be very good, you know, but Jayon Brown has had success in the past. Uh, while he was with the Titans, he was pretty good. Uh, Nick Kwiatkowski, although he's 31 years old today, may still have it in him to help defend the run a little bit. Um, you know, the Raiders in pass pro have looked very, very good. And a big part of that has been because they played a lot of cover four, cover two, uh, man to man. And they've made it so that they're going to play off and basically let the defense kind of take the underneath. And one of the things, if you do that, is if your pass rush is able to get home, and we've seen the Raiders pass rush obviously be able to do that, you'll be able to limit those big plays. And it is also up to the linebackers to kind of swarm to the football and make the tackles, right? And one of the things the Raiders have done a great job with is they put in a lot of safeties. They put in a lot of corners and defensive backs, generally speaking. Uh, sometimes even six or seven guys at once on the in, on the field. And the Raiders have to just continue to do that and continue to have success. But it's going to be interesting how the Raiders kind of move forward with the linebackers because – I, and I truly believe this. I think the Raiders defense this year is the best defense we've had in a number of years. From a schematic perspective, Patrick Graham has those guys rolling. Uh, when you look at what some of the guys have been able to do, uh, I would make the argument that our defensive end outside of Max Crosby may be the worst player on the, de on the defense line at the moment. Uh, Malcolm Kuntz, uh, Tyree Wilson have been the two guys that have really been playing on the opposite side, and they haven't really looked all that good at all, neither of those guys. You know, Kuntz will win, you know, a handful of reps, but if Kuntz has to play like 45 snaps straight, I don't know, something happens where he just doesn't make plays. Uh, he oftentimes gets shut down. He's not able to get around tackles. Uh, and then Tyree Wilson hasn't really developed to the fact, to the point where we can trust him as a full-time defensive end. But our interior pass rush has kind of started getting it going a little bit. And of course, Max Crosby is Max Crosby. But I don't know. It's going to be interesting how the Raiders kind of move forward because against the run, you know, what's going to happen if we continue to struggle? Uh, what's going to happen when, you know, our D tackles are getting blown off the line of scrimmage and then now a team hits the play action? Are these guys going to be standing up looking to see where the running back's at while the quarterback has like seven seconds to throw the pass? I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting as we move forward, right? Because a D tackle can only do so much. Linebackers got to step up and do their part. Uh, and then even the safeties got to kind of get involved. Our safeties have done a good job getting involved. We'll see what ends up happening. I want to know what you guys think. Though. Do you guys think the Las Vegas Raiders need another linebacker? Right, Robert Splint obviously has a broken hand. Who knows, you know, if he'll continue to play. Like, at, at what point does he sit out? Um, I almost feel like because the Raiders do have a couple of linebackers hurt, even though Splint's in, in, in you know, pain or whatever, he's kind of just pushing through it and playing. And I feel like, you know, the best thing for the Raiders would be to let Spillane heal up, right? Give him two to three weeks to be 100% good to go. But we also need other linebackers that are healthy, that can step up and, and play. And at the moment, we just don't have that. And with the NFL trade deadline having already passed, you know, how do you kind of move forward at this point, right? I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting. I don't want to know what you guys think. Would, would you guys target a guy in free agency? Would you guys just say, let's roll forward to Mari Bernie? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.